Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we would be covering the most important scenarios and the most important topics uh, for today. So we would be covering the concept of pagination. Basically, this would be regarding your server side pagination. So as you could see in this component here, I'm getting a list of account and uh, I'm getting all the accounts present in my org. Okay, and uh, I'm getting the name, industry, phone and website of the associated account. We'll show the code in a moment. So uh, basically what we want is we want uh, that on a particular page, there should be a certain number of records and there should be uh, pages, uh, page numberings as well. Uh, so that we could uh, select that page and we could uh, get the data. So basically what is the main purpose of your server side uh, pagination is like on a particular page it would be it would only get uh, those number of records like let's say on a particular page I want only five records so on my five records would be displayed in here and for the next five if I want to get the next five records I would again call my apex and get my data so what happens is like uh, when you are to display large amount of data and when you are calling the entire data at one go so uh, the server uh, latency is a bit high because the data is numerous and it to process that data it would take time so the load time of the page also get increased so what we generally prefer is we prefer server side pagination instead of the client side pagination but there are certain scenarios where we generally use client side also but in this video we would be sticking around with the server side pagination only so what i have done is uh, in my account uh, i'm just uh, iterating over uh, the account list and that account list I am getting from my apex controller that is account list controller so this is my account controller and in this I am just re uh, returning the ID name industry phone and website and that's been captured in my account list variable and this I am using in my loop ok so this is it so now what I want is I want to have page numberings. So how it should be like. So let's say you are having these number of records, right? Uh, let's say I am having total number of records on a page that would be five, five records. Okay. And what I want is I want numbering like this kind one, two, three, four, five, a previous button and a next button. Okay. So these two buttons like uh, and it should display like on which page I am like for example if I am on page number one uh, so it should uh, display me one okay and if I am on page number two so it should display like two so basically this is my basic requirement so first of all we need to understand some scenarios like how to get the things done so in this we would be mostly utilizing our concept of limit and offset but before that we need to have certain uh, scenarios in our mind so let's say we are having these uh, records that is the five records right so what we would be saying is that okay this value would be generic five records means on one page it should be five on the second page it also should be five third fourth and fifth so that is the records per page so let's say we would be defining a variable by the name records per page and I would be setting this to 5 ok and ok so this is understood right and that's done so now what I would be doing is when I would refresh my page ok or when my page gets rendered at the first right what I want I want that my one should be selected by default that means there should be a particular page that we could check like on which page are we currently on right if we are on third page so how to get that okay we are on the third page so we need a variable for that also so we would be creating a variable for that by the name cp that is the current page so 
current page so by default i would set this to one because when my page would load everything would load so page should be set to one okay so we are clear with this that on a page five records and page should be one now the most important thing is like this pagination is coming and for this pagination to calculate like how many uh, pages should be there uh, how to get that so there should be something uh, like total pages right and by default it should be set to zero that there is no total page at all i am assuming that there is no page right because if we have no data then it should dis not display any page it should display no data error that is clear okay now i am saying total pages is also good i want another uh, variable that is total records and that should also be set to zero okay for the first time i should keep this total records to zero and like this one two three four and five is coming right so ideally what is this if we could say if what i do is uh, i add this and i just add uh, this kind of thing so can you uh, utilize that what it could be or can you identify that what it could be so for those who are identi identified yes it's correct that's an array and for those who didn't understood uh, why it is an array let me show you so let it uh, let it be uh, number of pages array so number of pages array i would be setting to this or i would be saying displayed page numbers is my array so why because i want to iterate over this ideally what it does is it would uh, calculate this on the page load itself so on the page load we cannot set variables like 1 2 3 and because we don't know how many records are we having in a particular account or any particular s object for that purpose so we would be meeting in the next video till then if you have any doubts uh, feel free to comment down below and we would be meeting in the next part of this video